So it should be a very quick transit and nothing can possibly go wrong, right? Uh, absolutely. I'm assuming that the people watching this have never played Star Wars The Old Republic before, in which case, sure. <laughs> sure, it'll be totally uninterrupted, problem-free travel. That's how it always works. At the same time, though, I like Lieutenant Silas. She's cool. She is cool. She's business-like. Tell the captain that I'll be back on the bridge as soon as I've done his errand. Yes, sir. Good to have you aboard. I'm Lieutenant Silas, second in command of the Black Talon. We're your ride to Drom and Cass. Well met and all that. Indeed. <laughs> Be Welcome. nice. It's not a comfortable ship, but as transports go, for it me that was pretty nice. That's our true. Of yeah. course, we should arrive at the capital within a day. Won't be any trouble. In the meantime, your droids in the conference room. We picked it up with the upgrades from Geonosis. What? When we docked here, it mentioned your names. Sorry, Shut I up, don't know what droid. droid you're talking about. <laughs> Damn it, woman! <laughs> the machine asked for you, so I assumed you were the owner. Free My droid. Mistake. In any case, it seems someone wants to get in touch. The conference room is down the hall. I'll be on the bridge. And you, soldier, when you're done playing honor guard, get back to your post. This isn't a luxury yacht. Yes, sir. NRO2. Is this the one who's like. Light, uh, like specializes in manslaughter. Yeah. Specializes in manslaughter. Yeah, I guess he'll say it in a minute. Identity confirmed. Good day. Yes. Pilot diplomacy the translation NRO2. manslaughter. My functions are diplomacy translation manslaughter and calumniation. I have an urgent message for you from my master. Please stand by for delivery. Dun dun dun. What makes you think I care what your master has to say? I am certain you will be interested. Anyone traveling through Imperial space must listen to my master. This is unit NRO2 okay. to Grand Moff Kilrin. You are now in contact with the Black Talon. <laughs> well, so I am. And it seems you brought me just the people I Simon Templeman, from. though. My name is hey. Marcus Kilrin. I'm commander of the Fifth Fleet, second to the Minister of Han War. Garrel. And my personal favorite. The so called Some of you may recognize this voice actor as Logan McTeer in Dragon Age Origins, and also Han Girl Vasnima in Mass Effect. I wasn't aware that the military would be contacting me, sir. And a number it's an of other unexpected things. honor. <laughs> Clear didn't no like need that. for that. Military or Jacob Arthur Danik in Dead Space 3, side. and Kane in Legacy of Kane. The Republic engaged in an illegal border skirmish on the edges of Imperial territory. One enemy warship escaped. That warship. The Brentle Star is carrying a passenger of vital strategic ah, importance. My cat just Yours me. is the only vessel placed to intercept. Hi, Alonzo. <laughs> this passenger the Brentle Star is carrying, who is it? The warship's passenger is codenamed the General. We don't know his identity, but the Republic believes he possesses military secrets, our military secrets. I trust the reports. The general must be captured or killed. Captain Orzik, the man commanding your transport, doesn't share my enthusiasm. He's disobeyed my orders to attack. Feel free to show him what the Empire does to cowards. Then commandeer his ship, find the Brentle Star, and deal with the general. Not exactly a simple request, you know. This is not a simple age. Our millennia-old war against the Republic simmers while we engage in skirmishes and border disputes. Yet we cannot grow complacent. Traitors like your captain and threats like the general must be eliminated. I will lead the way to the bridge. Once Captain Orsic is deposed and our hijacking is complete, we may proceed to the Brentall Star. Alright. Then I will proceed. So... Captain Orzik, who's another thoroughly decent dude, um, Please move aside immediately. wants to not go after this warship that has an important defector on board. Because this is not a warship, it right. is a civilian transport vessel. But we are going to convince them otherwise, and then be badasses. Halt! This is a restricted area, Captain Orzik's command. You'll have to leave immediately. 
Save your breath. You're dead. Blast so much for diplomacy. Attack! Attack! We must proceed to the bridge immediately. Boy, it's been a while since I did healing. Gotta get back in the swing of things here. Although, uh, Mako's doing a lot of it herself. We murder and mayhem. The deaths Yay. of all injured crew members will be strategically insignificant. Thank you, NRO2. That makes me feel a lot better. Makes me feel better. <laughs> yeah, of course it does. Hey, more Ooh, new gloves, gloves for Kaleo. Oh, you need those? Never mind. Yeah, what the hell, bro? Rude. No, I said greed. You got it. What do you mean, rude? Because <laughs> you said they were for Kaleo instead of me. They weren't! And then I said, you need it, and so I let you have it. I'm a nice person. Stop guilt tripping me. Never! <laughs> see how it is. <laughs> Do you? Do you really? I don't really know. I sound so really, really loudly. Okay. Such dramatic music. So dramatic. All the dramatic. Hello, boys. <laughs> Goodbye, boys. <laughs> exactly. That went well. All Marines have been neutralized. Scanning for additional threats. Hi, Captain Orzik. What's going on? Sir, stay calm, Ensign. Everyone stay calm. You're Earth dead, Captain Orzik. The bridge is now secure. Not if I have anything to say about it. Call the med bay. I want help for the injured. Now. Acknowledged. Nice. I did not mean to click problem. that. I was gonna <laughs> say. That was I nice of you. That. I'm Captain Revenant Orzik. I'm pretty sure well, I know Mako about. liked it at least. <laughs> for the record, I take complete responsibility for my actions. Captain Orzik, I'm told you disobeyed a direct order from Grand Moff Kilren. Yes, I had no idea he'd respond this brutally. He must want the Brentle Star's passenger pretty badly. Maybe he just hates me. The Black Talon would be destroyed chasing a battleship. I fought in the war before and I'll fight again, but I don't do suicide missions. I'm not looking to make yes. a of anyone. We can complete this mission and survive. <laughs> I expect you believe that. <laughs> Kaleo didn't I like that at all. Listen to me. You've managed to hijack one ship, and that's certainly Kaleo impressive. would love me. Do you but want to trade? The Mental Star oh, yeah. is something else altogether. I might be able to get us close, but then you'd have to board it, fight an army of Republic soldiers, and somehow find a general. It's unacceptable. I didn't ask for your analysis, Captain. We're going after that ship. I see. Thank you for making that clear. Seems I have little choice in the matter. You're welcome. You have my crew. <laughs> I'll cooperate for now. This is the right thing to do. I'll do my best to remember that. Downloading new orders to all bridge consoles. I like Orsic. Priority one, intercept the Brentall star. You heard the droid, everyone. Prepare to jump to light speed. Emerging from hyperspace now. Eh, he's alright. I like his lieutenant better. Powering up. I like them both. Enemy is firing. 
Clever lasers, missiles, and what looks like transport pods. I'm not sure. Not missiles. Laser maneuvers. Keep the pod missiles. Assistance. They look harmless, Rather. but they'll rush onto the Harlem and cut at us with sabotage droids. Evasive maneuvers. Rosa. Sir, three shuttles on an intercept course. An assault party. We don't have sufficient defenses to keep them from landing. Let them land. I can handle any borders. This Yay, course of action like that. is deemed advisable. Security will meet you at the entrance <laughs> of the shuttle bay. The Defend the ship at all costs. Too. We'll get you to the Ventus Star. Alright. Boarding party. Let's do the thing. Doing the thing. Secondary power systems damaged. Non essential systems may be inoperable. Ship is not happy with this right now. Nope, those are the sounds of sadness. Ship deleted the sadness. I need you to murder stuff with me. I'm here. I'm right right beside you. Can't get rid of me that easily. <laughs> Good. to point out by the way something that amused us considerably when we early played through this game for the first time which is that to jolt another person she does this whole like dart thing for self the self healing move is basically to jam a fucking hypodermic into her leg it's so much less elegant it really is So much murder. I remember us getting our asses kicked by this boss fight the first time we did it. Hopefully we're in a better position. We've done it several times since on different characters. Yeah. We'll be fine. Yep. the flamethrower a lot more than I ever did when I was playing Bounty Hunter. It's so useful. Yeah, I never I just never got whoa, never got in the proper habit of using it. It hits all the things in front of you. All the things. Yeah, I think the Republic Trooper has something similar where it's like an electrical jolt. Correct. Yeah, there's this like crackly lightning stuff. Yeah. It's not as cool as this. Mm. Yeah, well, nothing's as cool as having a fucking flamethrower in your wrist. Okay, so we got four strong bad guys here. Uh, we're gonna start with the healer, right? I marked him. Okay, cool. I will follow your lead. You never should have attacked us! Should have attacked us. It's a bit more unhealing this time. Imperial air. 
arrogance knows no bounds. I can't hear these guys' I've dialogue worse than way you. too much. I've beaten worse than you. Yes, you have. Because seeing as how you just died, everyone else you beat was worse than me. <laughs> exactly. Hey, we are awesome. Yay, Yo. new jacket! Is it less ugly than my current one? I can't. It's not bad. I can't. It's actually like that. not that bad looking. Yeah. Maybe I'll just stick with that. It's kind of kind of cool looking. I was gonna wear the- I have the black, um, operatives jacket in my collections, but maybe I'll stick with this. It's kinda cool looking. I am a fan of the, uh, the long jacket. I just saw it is the best mode of dress for an agent. <laughs> Hell yeah. Duster Brigade! We went through a period in I'll our first to armor, thank you. <laughs> we went through a period in our first uh bounty hunter and agent run where both of us plus our companions were all wearing dusters at the same time. It was pretty excellent. Were all of our companions wearing dusters? You were, I was, Reina was. I forget Raina who I had with is. me. What? Reina still is, yeah. Miranda still is. Yeah. She's wearing the same duster, as a matter of fact. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. I might have had Blizz at the time, and Blizz can only wear one thing, so... I don't know. Doesn't matter. Damage reports from all decks. We're holding together, sir, but I don't know for how long. Make it last, Ensign. Don't let us down. Please, stand oh, Shut up, Ensign. Grandmaster Ben's representatives have returned. I see you took care of the Republic Assault. Welcome back to the bridge. Why, thank you. Thank you, Captain. We've survived the first wave of attacks from the Brental Star. Things will be calm until we enter fighter range. Another minute, maybe two. Transmission coming in. Long range. It's a message, but it's not from the Brental Star. Put it through, Ensign. This is Jedi Grandmaster Satil Shan hailing unidentified Jedi Grandmaster Commander Shepard. <laughs> Sixteen Republic vessels. I'm asking you to retreat before more lives are lost. Is that Jennifer Hale? I think I knew yes, that it actually. Is. I think I knew that actually. The Empire doesn't turn and run so easily. Your ship brought this upon itself. You can make those claims if you wish, but we both know that why it is not impressed. The Brintal Star is under my protection. Our convoy nope. was ambushed and I sent the star. Femhawk is not impressed by Femshep. <laughs> I just heard of three Imperial dreadnoughts. I don't wish to destroy you. The peace between Republic and Empire is fragile enough already. I don't play politics. Take it somewhere else. Even Mandalorians respect life. This isn't about politics. Incidents like this are happening across the galaxy, but only because we let them. Leave the Brentel Star to me. If you don't, then may the Force be with you. Because the men and women aboard that ship can hold you off until we arrive, and you will be defeated. You're deluding yourself. The ship is already mine. You've made yourself clear. But I suggest you prepare to face a Jedi. And you may want to consider what that means. Entering fighter range. The Brentel Star is launching its first squadron. It's time for us to do the same. I assume you'll be leading the boarding party to go after the General? Ha. Huh. Get ready to see how intelligence handles things. Good luck. I'm sure you'll have the general in your hands in no time. I advise that you proceed to the shuttle bay. The flight to the Brentall Star may be hazardous, but Grand Moff Kilran has complete faith in your abilities. Thanks, Anor. <laughs> yeah, he's so helpful. What was your ha about? Onward. The dude asked if we were leading the boarding party. The fuck else is gonna do it? Him? <laughs> the droid? Yes. <laughs> the shaky <laughs> ensign? NRO2 is going to lead the boarding party. 
that's a terrible idea. Well, actually, he does specialize in he manslaughter. He does, yeah, it's diplomacy and manslaughter. It's, like, right up his alley. It's more up his alley than you. Hey, I'm much more the manslaughter specialist than he is. Cuts people's head off for fun. That was not for fun. That was for work. Ah. <laughs> it was a business expense. Yes, I was trying to get sponsored. Who cares if I had fun while I was doing it? I didn't do it for fun. It just so happened that I had fun at the time. Fair enough, fair enough. Can't argue with that. Alright, let's kill all the dudes once again. My job for me. Great. Now, <laughs> uh, Kaleo's doing mine, so I know the feeling. Much murder. Let's talk when you get the chance. Oh, Kaleo oh, wants to talk to me. That's nice. We'll deal with that the next time we hit a cantina. 